Good morning, guys. This is Friday, July the 24th, 2020. This is Sheila Texter with Sheila's One Stop Coaching Channel. If this is the first time you've ever uh, watched me, I'm asking you to subscribe to my channel, share it, like it, comment on it. And every Wednesday, I put out videos on on Wednesdays, I talk about my book journey, my writing journey. And on Fridays, I usually bring some kind of coaching tip. If you watch my video from last week, I have decided to kind of take my coaching videos and turn them kind of toward the book journey as well. Because and I may not, I, I probably will not stay there. Because my intention on this coaching channel is to help someone to find that passion that's on the inside of them, to find that goal, to find that desire, to awaken that thing and bring it to fruitation. That is my goal on Fridays because I am a faith-based life coach, transformational, inspirational. Uh, I want to bring inspiration. I want to bring um, encouragement to you and help you find the thing that you were called to do all while bringing biblical truths into your life as well. But this Friday, we're going to talk about when you start your journey, God will bring those people into your life. He will bring those people into your life that you need at the right time. And that is what happened with me. The Lord dropped this, the title and the thought and the ideal into my spirit in 2018, of July 2018. But it would be February of 2019 before I would start writing my, my book. And it is published now. It took about a year, a little bit over a year, maybe a year, maybe about 16 months, something like that, to actually get completely through with it, get it ready, get it proofread, get it edited, and get it published. And now I am selling those books, but I am also writing, uh, already writing my second book, Life After the Mistake 2, and it'll be like the journey continues, uh, continuing on with the work of the Lord that me and my husband are doing here in Blavel and how God's hand has just been here with us ever since we came and the provisions that he's made and the doors that he's opened. And I, I want you to follow along with me because our story is the simple fact that failure's not final and, and man cannot, man cannot stop you from obeying God and man cannot stop you from walking in your calling. I don't care what your mistake was. I don't care. You you find you read that book, you will have a different outlook. It's called Life After the Mistake, New Beginnings. But I just want you to know that when I started wanting to write and I started writing, it was like God began to connect the dots. I started writing and, and, and the book was hard because it's a hard story. And I kind of set it aside for a little while. And I said, now, God, you're going to have to help me with this because I have no idea what to do. I started writing in a notebook. That's how naive I was in the writing world. I just started writing in a notebook. And that's okay if that's what you do. Start somewhere. Start somewhere. Start getting it out of here and getting it on paper even if it's raw, even if it's ugly, because you can always go back and polish it up. But as I begin to seek God, God, you're going to have to help me with this, I begin to connect with other authors. I got on Facebook, and there was one of my acquaintances. We wasn't what you say, just great best of friends. We are now. We are now. But we knew each other from church and fellowship meetings and things like that. And I seen that she had wrote a book and was pre-selling it. So I connected with her and it just kind of went from there. She was in the process of still editing her book. 
and actually I helped her a little bit. She would send me some of her content, you know, because I, I'm a big reader. I would give her advice on that's that's too wordy or can't, maybe you can just rephrase this to, you know, by no means were I, was I no expert. And, I, and I'm still not an expert, but I've come a long way and I want to help other people get on that writing journey. So after that, I told her about my book and how I'd started, but I'd set it aside and that, you know, so I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to continue writing. So I set that one book aside and I started writing what I would call the new beginnings. So I said, I'll just leave the life after the mistake alone and I'll write new beginnings. I'll just write a book about our new beginnings, our journey, you know. I started doing that. And after a couple of months of writing that, I'm on Facebook again, and lo and behold, a woman comments on a post that a friend of mine posted, a pastor friend, something about writing a book. And she commented on it and said she could help him. I'm like, well, who is this? So I kind of comment on her comment, and it goes from there. We start messaging one another, we exchange phone numbers, and next thing you know, she is helping me with my book, you know? And then she passes me on to another lady that had did some work for her. That's how, that's how it works, guys. When you start your journey, you will begin to connect in that area, whatever it is. You know, if you start trying to write a song and you start looking stuff up, you will start paying attention to those things. It's called the law of attraction. It's called the law of attraction. It works, guys. It works. And God can and will help you if you reach out and ask him to send the people that you need, to send you the help that you need. It will be there. And today, about 15, 16 months later, my book is published. And I'm already writing my second book. And guys... It's just been a journey. It's been a journey. It's been a great journey. It was rough. It was hard. I had to redo, rewrite. But that's just part of the journey. That's part of the learning process. You know, again, I'm by no means saying that I'm an expert in it, but I learned a lot of things during that time. So I encourage you today, just start. Get on YouTube. Start looking up a few things. Listen to a few um, other experts in self-publishing and just writing a book maybe just writing a book to start with not necessarily self-publishing maybe find you some things to read up on on writing your first book I do wish that I would have done that a little sooner than what I did but I'm, I'm very thankful that I did start doing that just a little bit after I started writing because it really really helped me you know I learned about niching. I learned about genres. Genre. I, I learned about you know nonfiction, fiction, memoirs, memoirs. I learned all that stuff that I had no idea about. I learned about the hook. I learned about the the book cover and um, your introduction and it just so many things that goes into that book that I had no idea. So get on the journey and watch God connect the dots. Whether it's writing a song, writing a book, starting a business, whatever it is, if you wanna do coaching, you will begin to connect with people. I, I, I've got a whole different set of friends now. I still have my older friends, but we don't, what you say, um, we don't really connect as much as we used to because, you know, I'm going in a different direction. It's not that I'm better than they are or they're better than me or, you know, or that there's problems between us. It's just my life is taking a different direction. And I need people in my life that have been where I'm going and that have done what I'm trying to do so they can help me get there. It's not that you're dis disowning your old friends. It just brings in a whole different set of friends that they have goals and they aspire to do things 
And it, and it gives you someone that you can share those kind of things with. So I want y'all to have a great weekend. And man, I'm telling you what, our world, it's in chaos. But you know what? God is still the same. He was the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you stay where you need to be with God, you're going to flourish. You will flourish in a season when everybody else has fallen by the wayside. But you've got to be strong in the Lord. And you've got to put Him first. And you've got to seek Him. Seek Him first. Put Him first in everything you do. In Proverbs 16 and 3, it says, Commit your works. Commit your works unto the Lord. And your thoughts will be established. So this really, this scripture could go with what I'm giving you today. Take that work. Take that book, that song, that business, that coaching business. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Take it to God. Ask God to show you what to do. Ask God to bring the people into your life that you need. And when you do those things, if you commit it unto God, and you have plans in your mind. Your thoughts are plans. Your thoughts are what you're thinking. That, hey, this could happen. And I could write this song. And maybe a certain group could take it and sing it. Or I could write this book. And God could open some doors for me. And I could write another book. You know, that's, that's what I did. That's, that was my thoughts. So those are my plans. And God is establishing my plans. Because I committed my work unto him. I went to him with it. I went to him asking him for guidance. I'm going to get off here today, guys. Again, Sheila Texter, Sheila's one-stop coaching channel. I'm a faith-based Christian author, Christian life coach, helping you, helping you change your world one scripture at a time. Y'all have a great weekend. I'll be back next Wednesday with a video of content about my book. I'm just so excited about the book. I have getting nothing but great reviews, over-the-counter, over-the-wall reviews, and I thank God for it. I thank God for it. But until next Wednesday, y'all have a great weekend, have a safe weekend, and stay safe in all this stuff that's going on. And just know that God sees you. He's well aware of where you are. He's well aware of what you're wanting to do. And a lot of times, if he's, if it's something in your spirit, you'll, you'll know. You'll know whether it's from God or not. If, if you don't know, then begin to pray about that. God, is that you or is that me? You know, ask God. Ask, ask, ask. I'm telling you, ask and you will receive. Y'all have a great weekend, and I will catch y'all next week.